Hey peeps, Jess here, and in today's episode of the Craft Chocolate Maker series, we take on the craft chocolate you ought to know. We are talking about Om Nom Chocolate. Iceland's only bean to bar chocolate company recently became famous on Netflix's Down to Earth when Zac Efron apparently made horrible chocolate there. The chocolate we're tasting today is not horrible. Om Nom is normally famous for their eclectic geometric wrappers, their love of inclusions or adding neat stuff to chocolate, and adding licorice to chocolate bars whenever possible. So let's taste some chocolate. So first, we have the 70% Super Choco Berry Barley Nibby <laughs> Super Choco Berry Barley Nibby Nutty Licious. I'm glad I got that on the second take. It's a 70% and in addition to having a giant long name, it has a lot of inclusions. The actual inclusions, name aside, are cranberries, salted almonds, puffed barley, and cacao nibs. The cranberries and the cacao nibs will make that super tart and deep. So I'm hoping that the almonds and barley bring some lightness to this, because this is gonna get pretty intense. I love the fennec design. It's very cute. Fennec boxes are awesome. And the silver wrapper has the Om Nom logo, very shiny. It reminds me a lot actually of the wrapper used for Toak. It's a bit firmer, but it's very similar. So while the bar is broken, there are inclusions ahoy. My actual problem here is the inclusions are so big that getting a piece of chocolate with every single inclusion on here is gonna be giant. On one hand, it means every bite's gonna be a different experience, but for tasting everything on this video, it's a little hard. I mainly smell darkness, like dark earthy tones. I'm not really smelling the inclusions, just dark chocolate. Cheers. It's trail mix on chocolate bar. You have super smooth chocolate, then the pops of tartness from the cranberry, a little bit of earthiness from the cacao nibs, and then the almonds do bring some lightness, and a softer crunch than everything else going on. I can actually see using this as a trail mix replacement if it wasn't too hot out, just because it, it's trail mix. It's condensed trail mix. So if you're someone who wants trail mix that's heavy on the chocolate, this is the bar for you. It is a little tart because of the cranberries, so maybe if you like tart trail mix. A while back I used to be really into this one trail mix from Trader Joe's that was like dark chocolate and dried cherries and it's very reminiscent of that. However before we go on we've got to address the emulsifier elephant in the room. All the bars today, all three, contain sunflower lecithin. This is an emulsifier, it helps keep the chocolate smooth and creamy as it goes through the pipes and there's a lot of debate on it. In fact, I'm gonna to link to Sharon the Chocolate Journalist below because she covers it really well. But the gist of it is, is that while it is very smooth and creamy for the chocolate, there's a lot of chemicals used in the production of soy lecithin and sunflower lecithin that we don't know a lot about and aren't super great for the environment. I personally am on the team of avoiding sunflower and soy lecithin. This is a personal decision I've made based on my own health and my own needs, but I would like to make sure you have the chance to make an educated decision for yourself. Still, it's in all three bars. On to the chocolate. Number two, the caramel 50%, which I totally got because, I mean, look at this. This is incredible. And another neat thing from me in the description, they are using Icelandic milk powder, shiny. And on the being a bad craft chocolate focus person, the previous bar involved beans from Tanzania, and this involves beans from Nicaragua, which is gonna have a completely different profile. Could be a nice balance of flavor. We'll see. It's got a heart. It's got a little heart with the unicorns. It's perfect. So the bar has all these little caramel pieces on top. They look kind of tumbled, like they've been through a rock tumbler. It reminds me of chocolate covered nerds, actually. I, I do wish there were more caramel pieces on it though. When I've seen the photos on their website, it's usually pretty studded with caramel, kind of like the Super Berrylicious bar, whose full name I'm not gonna get right right now. We can have more caramel. We deserve more caramel. And while I already broke the bar, it does have a really lovely sort of geometric logo mold that very much matches their aesthetic and I can smell a bit more milk creaminess going on. Cheers. So the caramel pieces themselves are really, really crunchy. It is kind of like hitting nerds. They're just crunch, 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 crunch. It's great. If you're someone who was really into the Cadbury caramel eggs as a kid, the flavor is gonna be very similar with a more nuanced milky flavor. It's actually a touch sweet for me. Like I'd like, I'd like salt, let's be real, or nibs. Yeah, just something to bring a bit more darkness into the bar would be really fun for me. However, I think for you watching this video, you might really appreciate it because it's sweet, it's got a lovely crunch. I could really see this being like an epic beginner bar. I could see this being really great for kids too. Like this is a really kid-friendly bar. This is the thing I would have wanted in my Halloween bag as a kid. I am just pointing that out now. We're in September, close enough. Last, not least, we have the licorice and, oh dear, this poor bar or the lactase 
and raspberry. I am not gonna pronounce that right. I believe this might actually be a white chocolate with some milk in it, we'll find out. There is also, I believe, another licorice bar. So let's try this one. They're all very giftable bars. Like, this is especially giftable for Valentine's Day. Just look at it. Oh, that's, that's precious. There are little hearts. So normally we have this little accent here with the sort of cut-in pattern. Looks kind of like a mountain top. And set here, we have little hearts. How cute. This is not the bar I was expecting. So we have this neon red bar here. It's about the same color of this Soma raspberry. So I'm expecting a really intense flavor here. And then we also have, it looks kind of like they might be berry pieces, but they're very hard. But it is a gorgeous color and I can smell raspberry and a hint of that salty licorice from here. So it's gonna be a bar. It's gonna be an intense bar. I'm a little nervous. I'm still smelling raspberry and licorice. This is gonna be something. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. I feel like I should mention as I get some water. The licorice you're using is not American licorice. It is salmiak. There are Tumblr threads about salmiak as it is very intense and very funky. And that's what I'm getting. So you have the initial raspberry and then the licorice comes in and all I'm tasting now is like this salty, intense, not bitter, but doing something being, it, it, things are happening. It's very tart and sour and salty though. Don't buy it hoping for a gentle introduction to licorice. No, get a different bar then. So those are some of my thoughts on Omnom. They're clearly a super eclectic brand and a super Icelandic brand. So be ready for that if you get some licorice from them. It, it's gonna be a wild ride. I also think they're a really good introductory brand. If you're new to craft chocolate and you want like some fun flavor, something that's like eating trail mix, something that's got a really good crunch and a lot of caramel notes, and you want to leave Cadbury and your old trail mix in the dust, this is a great brand for you. I'm always interested to see what they're doing because they're always trying to reinvent the wheel in a really friendly and beginner friendly way. And I think that's incredibly important in craft chocolate. I wish they weren't using less of them. That's really my only complaint with them as a brand. So I can't wait to see what they do next and hopefully they'll maybe get rid of the less of them. Fingers crossed. If you wanna get some Om Nom for yourself, I would highly recommend going through them directly or through someone like Bar & Coco. They're about $9 a bar. Sheila, you deserved better. You didn't have to be $15 a bar. So get them from the links below so you can save your money. They're not affiliate. I just want to make sure you have cheaper chocolate. And with that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you tried Om Nom? Have you tried Om Nom because of Zac Efron? All reasons are good reasons. I'd love to hear all about it. It's always great hanging out with you and I will see you in the next video. Laters. There are caramel bits all over this floor. I am scared to move. It, it's gonna be an adventure, but it's worth it for chocolate.